I am uh, Colonel Valentin Segura, uh, Director of the Chilean Joint Peacekeeping Operations Center located at Santiago, Chile. Chile is uh, a country that uh, has a, a clear commitment with the peace and stability of the world. Uh, this is not something new. It is uh, from more than 70 years we have been participating even before the development of the United Nations. Chile has been uh, cooperating with the United Nations uh, from 1948. We cooperate with the international community like I mentioned before. Uh, the most important is to uh, provide the standard. Uh, it means people well prepared to act in the international arena according our own national thought that we have for uh, our uh, people, our society, and uh, respect the diversity of uh, the area and the people where we are acting outside of our country, respect the uh, uh, human rights, and uh, other uh, important uh, topic that uh, is very important when you are uh, working in this type uh, of a uh, uh, system. And uh, on 2002 was developed the SECOPAC, the Chilean Joint Peacekeeping Operation Training Center. And this center uh, is very special uh, because it's joint. It means uh, you can find people from the Army, Navy, and Air Force, and also is integrated. It means it's possible to identify people from the Carabinieri, the uniform police, and the civilian police, detective, and civilian. It is very important that the soldier and police and civilian be well trained in order to provide a security environment to the local people at, at the same time, be like a good ambassador. Chile has the clear commitment to cooperate with the peace and stability in the world. Of course, must prepare accordingly all the personnel that will be deployed. SECOPAC provide the higher standard for the deployment. We train people uh, according the UN standard according the EU standard. We are training people from Chile, that is our main task, but as all uh, peace centers, is open to the international community. SECOPAC has a, a very large uh, background experience in uh, peace operation, mainly under command and control of the United Nations. Uh, Picasso I has, of course, uh, also a very broad experience under uh, 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 operations that are conducted for uh, multinational forces and lead by uh, U.S. or other uh, international organizations like uh, NATO or others. Uh, of course, there are areas where we can cooperate to ourselves. We came here uh, some months ago. Uh, we discussed a, an area of mutual cooperation between Pekao I and SECOPAC, SECOPAC and Pekao I that will continue in the future. And uh, in this case, we select this specific uh, seminar because transition is a topic that is not very well known in all places. And uh, definitely, all the discussion the knowledge that uh, I am taking during uh, uh, this week, uh, we will use uh, in, in our own uh, environment. Transition, I think, is a, a really challenging uh, process. Uh, to me, one of the most important areas during the transition is the act of different organizations, multinational organizations, uh, multinational discipline. Uh, it's not just the, the single military way or uh, other. It, it means during the transition, 
perhaps uh, one of the most important point is everyone have to work with all uh, people that are in the area where it is conduct the transition process, transition after or before so the, uh, stability operation is, is a challenging topic. Uh, I think uh, are many lessons learned from the past, uh, but like my own thought after uh, this week seminar is uh, we have a, an, a, an important challenge ahead of us. Uh, it's not simple. It has not, not, it's not a, 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 a simple uh, process. Uh, I think it's necessary to, to go to the field, see the reality of uh, what is happening there, uh, study the history. Uh, I think it's very important to study history. Uh, observe what happened in the past in other process equivalent. Could be not exactly the same uh, conflict. It's not exactly the same. But the lesson learned, more or less like in the war, are always the same. Then I think it's very important an academic uh, uh, process like this uh, seminar uh, because uh, the information from the field should be transformed in theory. And the theory later, when it's transformed to lesson learned, to best practice, must or should be applied uh, in the field. It means it's a circle, uh, it's a process, complete a process. We have to continue studying in order to cooperate to our own nation, to our own defense uh, system, how to conduct uh, in the most appropriate way a transition process after an stabilization uh, operation or other type of uh, operation. Because always you will find a transition process. Uh, always, between different phases, always you will find a transition between of them. <music>